Hello, it's Rachel. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today I have a little bit of a grocery haul and we're going to jump right into it and I'm going to tell you what I got at Walmart. So first I'm showing a dozen eggs and a bag of Pink Lady apples, some string cheese, and looks like we're gonna circle back around these apples again. These have become my husband and I's favorite budget apples. We have a pack of hamburger buns, which the kid that put them in my trunk completely smushed them, but I molded them back into hamburger bun shape. I picked up another uh, couple packages of roasted garlic mashed potatoes just to have on hand in a pinch. And then a couple cans of Hunt's pasta sauce. I like to use these and doctor them up for a great way to save money on pasta sauce. Some pepperoni, my husband's hazelnut coffee creamer. We go through a lot of that while well, he does. And so I'm always buying it. I got a pack of the Great Value Singles cheese slices. I picked up a couple of these reduced... Um, sandwiches to put in my lunches for work figuring they would be a cheap alternative and a quick grab-and-go type of lunch um, that I can just throw in my lunch bag and then I also picked up a pack of sharp cheddar cheese the finely shredded taking it easy this week and gonna take some help from the cheese department some real bacon pieces a couple packs of taco seasoning a bag of mandarin oranges Cameron and I went for the already frozen popsicles this time a gallon of milk and a bag of pears. I also picked up a pack of the Swaggerty Sausage and a bag of the Frozen Broccoli Florets. And then for meat, I picked up some boneless skinless chicken breast and then it looks like that's all I got for meat this week I did have some of the um, ground beef leftover that I bought at Sam's the week before I bought a 10 pound roll of it and we divided it so I still had that in my freezer and that is what we got from Walmart now we're going to move on to the meal plan. My husband wanted to cook on Sunday and the meal that he planned for us was hamburger gravy or SOS. Since I upload these videos after we've already planned the meal for the week, I'm able to come back and put a picture in. So on Monday, spaghetti made its way back onto the rotation. And there's a picture for that. It was so good to be back on the rotation. On Tuesday's menu is a version of cracked stuffed chicken, which I'm just calling green chili chicken. I had some flour tortillas I needed to use up, so I planned on making quesadillas on Wednesday, but I'm so absent-minded that I accidentally made enchiladas instead. So that was a menu change. The plan for Thursday was to make burgers, but our burger was frozen, and so we changed it up for that day and changed it to Philly Cheesesteak Sloppy Joes. Bill and I planned on going out to eat for dinner on Friday, but ended up changing those plans to ordering in subs and having Fritos with it instead. Stuff happens. Next, I'll be heading out to the Dollar General and the Salvation Army. This is a day um, that I go into work late and usually I spend a little bit of time 
cooking and getting food ready for my family or I will get out and do a little shopping before work. And so I am just getting a little bit of a breakfast or brunch, whatever you want to call it, around to take with me. I like to put a couple of boiled eggs, some pepperoni and a string cheese in a container and then just throw that in my bag and I can eat that in my car. Um, this is kind of early in the morning actually not too early but you know and I'm just gonna put in a water with a drink mix um, sugar-free lemonade I believe it is and one of those apples and then now I'm at Dollar General and I'm picking up some of these flower picks I don't see these at all the Dollar Generals but at the one I happened to go to on this day they did have these and I thought I would grab them in red and blue since the next holidays coming up would be um, 4th of July and whatnot. I also picked up this little owl planter. I have the um, bigger one to that, a Gatorade and some bowls. And then I am just like looking for a Swiffer, like just a basic run of the mill Swiffer. And what I want is one that's got a smaller head because I think I have two or three of them and they have the really large heads and they're just a little bit awkward for me to push around I don't know why but I wanted the original Swiffer with like the smaller head but I want to be able to put the um, cloth covers on them so I have some of the larger ones that I ordered from Amazon, not the Swiffer brand, but other brands, and they have the removable washable um, covers and all, but I'm just not happy with them because of they're so big. And so anyway, I picked up some of these shampoos. I hit coupons for the shampoos and conditioners and also for the Swiffer, so I got it. I was pretty happy about getting those bargains at the Dollar General. If you don't use their coupons, you really should. They're all digital and all you have to do is plug your phone number in and it automatically takes it off. So one day when I was at Hobby Lobby on my lunch break, I picked up this little truck from the Easter markdown section. So it was 75% off and so I grabbed the blue one. They did have other pastel colors, but my thought was going into um, 4th of July that I could throw some red, white, and blue stuff into the back. And then I also went to Salvation Army that day and I picked up some little baby clothes for my new little baby granddaughter. I got her some little shorts and a tank top and some little capris. They were just so cute. And for 99 cents or $1.99, I just felt like that was a great price for little clothes that you're just going to redonate anyway. And then I've been on the search for some sheer white curtains and you just can't find them like you used to for really, really cheap. So I've been keeping my eye out at uh, Salvation Army and they haven't had what I was looking for with, you know, uh, enough that matched until this day. And so I grabbed them for $9.99 a set. And then I saw this huge wreath and I was just like, oh, I'm going to get that because it was so pretty to me. And all I need to do is reattach some of these leaves back onto it. And they were only off because when I stuffed it into my trunk, I was a little bit rough, I guess. I don't know. But this wreath is really huge. I mean, it doesn't look really that big in the uh, video, but in real life, it's so big and I just really thought that it would fit right in with my front porch I am getting ready to do a front porch makeover and I want to keep it really simple so I like all the green and the white on it and I'm really just not going to change it up at all because if I were to make it myself this is kind of what I had in mind anyway and so I'm really happy and I hope that whoever made it and donated it um, I just feel good knowing that they made it and that they donated it to bless somebody else's home and that I'm getting to use it and enjoy it. So I always think about that when I donate my own things to the thrift stores is that I hope somebody gets it and enjoys it the way that I did. And so 
this is one of those items that I'm just really happy about. I did look at some other wreaths that week and they were so expensive at Hobby Lobby and at Walmart and even at Dollar General. I was going to make one and now I don't have to. So I am just getting all of those leaves kind of tucked in and putting them where I want them to go because I know that the store is going to get a lot of traffic and you know we have a 12 year old and so he's always coming in and out of this door pretty rough so I want to make sure there's nothing that's hanging too wildly that's going to snag on his clothes and get carried away with them and so that's all I'm doing here and I do plan on doing a whole front porch makeover this spring. I'm going to be painting all of this trim around the door, but I just couldn't wait to get this wreath hung up. And I thought maybe it would inspire me to get busy. We are starting to have a break in the cold weather, so I will be getting out more and I wanna be able to enjoy this porch. Well, that's all that I have to share today. If you had fun, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.